Hello world, and welcome again to another episode of Dave Trippin, and this time we're coming back to do another Ramble Rousers. It's because another week has passed, we never recorded anything on the uh, the Friday, so we're catching up on it, and lots has happened, hasn't it, Dean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good things, Good I would things. say. I'm going to mostly let Dean take it away here, because we've talked about in the past just the difficulties of adjusting to everything and Dean's seen that and so it's a good experience to touch on and the sort of mindset you might want to keep while you're going through it because I'd say you've also come out the end well. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. So take it away Dean. Well yeah, obviously if you watch previous videos and whatnot, um I was just kinda of getting my head around uh the differences of working in in a pure one hundred percent Japanese environment. Mm. Obviously that being the public schools. Um and I, I was never 100% sure there was some communication issues. Uh, I was like semi-torturing myself with not knowing that I was, n not having any of clear confirmation that I was doing a good job um, yeah. when I was teaching these lessons. What they wanted me to do is like highly irregular. It's not it's not the usual usual kind of thing. Even you know? your schedule is not the usual, yeah, right? Like I mean, everything I... we've talked before about the uniqueness of schools, like Dean is case in point for what he's gone into. And uh, yeah, so I just would like to say, um, I went into something really different, something that I was not prepared for, something that I hadn't trained for, uh, and that was to lead all of these lessons, but not use the standard plans that are set out by the company that we both work for. So in effect, obviously, if you watch the previous videos, I make stuff from scratch um, and then just make sure that I'm implementing the grammatical point um, so the students are, are just review it's a review lesson um, and for the last it's taken me you know a good two weeks to get my head around you know I've had a few lessons where it's been like oh, I'm not sure that's really gone well and I'm not I haven't really been getting the feedback but I, um, I had kind of a, a moment where I was like, oh, you know, I went and I called the company. I went in to see the company and explain my issues. The they the schools and the company, uh, the school and the company kind of seemed to have resolved, resolved it. They kind of said, oh, Dean seems very, very kind of nervous when he was teaching. And how long did you wait, though, before this even came up, right? How did you play it leading oh, up to yeah, this? This is key. Yeah. This is key because I think this was done right. I didn't want to ever come across as um, like a sport child throwing his toys out the pram or something. So I I kind of, um, at one point I, I was really upset and I wrote an email, but I just saved it in my drafts and it was just nice to have that. Uh, it was quite therapeutic actually. Um, yeah. But I, I probably waited again coming up, well I've been there working there for coming on a month. Yeah. It would have been yeah. a month. So. I waited a month before I did a, a, anything, um, and uh, the other two schools are great. You know, it's just this one main school that I'm in. It's just where what they want me to do is so different. It's going to take time for me to adjust, uh, and I, I've made I had some communication issues with one of the teachers, uh, but we've we've got it all resolved now. And the company has not actually done anything. It's me doing it off my own back. I've said when is the best time to speak to you. I don't now leave my preparation time to kind of showing the teacher you know a, a few hours before the lesson now yes. it's like two <laughs> days before the, the lesson's supposed to be scheduled in so she knows and she seems to like that so yeah no but i played it very kind of i didn't want to come across as like some troublemaker that was just trying to you know engineer his way out of an easy you know and to, to get an easier gig or something and so like when you were facing it like like you just made the point that if you are getting that that little like spike of stress to begin with, it's probably sure do something therapeutic, maybe write out an email that you may not send or something. But for the most part, what's probably happening at the beginning is just things that you should kind of like, not call it let slide, but before you act on them, mm. give yourself some time to truly have thought about them, so you're not doing something in the heat of the moment. And that will it's. It you know unless unless you are supremely lucky, everyone that comes over here when they first that first Gets month, a bit that something. first six weeks will be will be difficult. You know, yeah. it's not it's not it's not mince words. It's gonna be it is difficult. Um, but yeah, no, like you know, the, the last couple of weeks have been really good. Um, you know, and things are on the up now. I'm understanding what they're asking me to do. I'm able to produce these you know pretty decent lesson plans you know just out my ass so yeah, and now you're good. forged in the fire right because you've had a difficult time yeah absolutely you, you know, know like now i yeah. kind of feel 
you know, whatever the situation, if I was to, they were to say to me, oh, Dean, we're going to move you or whatever, and you're going to take a role similar to Dave, where you lead a percentage of the lessons, but, you know, 50% you lead and 50% you act more of the role as a backup, I'd be quite happy to do that. Equally as much as they said, if they'd said to me, you know, oh, Dean, we want you to lead 100% again, but with more lessons, I would be happy to do that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's um, it's definitely going to, it's going to prepare me for anything really. So, you yeah, know, it's really good though. What's uh, what's some like funny things? What about the uh, the kids? Oh yeah, the kids, act, the kids are acting kind of ridiculous. They are, I don't know if it's like sex ed time or something <laughs> like that, but they've just been saying, uh, I uh, when you go to your schools, you'll have to. Actually, I don't know if it's all the time, but I know me and Dave both have to do it. We there's a cleaning period, and all of yeah. the um, all of the students clean well, effectively the school, and um, all the teachers get involved as well. They change into track suits and they all go and clean the school. Everybody's assigned like their own little section. Yeah, that's it. And I got assigned on my first day. Actually, I got told, "Oh, for the year, Dean, you'll be cleaning the gym." Um, and that's great, that's fine, I just have to sweep this giant basketball court, so it's a pretty easy gig. Uh, and the kids, um, obviously I've, the, uh, there's a group of about six lads that all have me do that, and they're all very touchy and very, very feely, that they all want to kind of touch my dick, and it's all just a little bit of like chink old child that I could have said, yeah. you know, like, show me your dick, <laughs> you know, and it's just like, yeah. uh, so it's like, um, you just have to ignore it and just say, oh, I just kind of say something like, oh, uh, Nihongo wa kare masen. Yeah, yeah, I just don't understand. Keep Japanese. your professional distance. Keep your professionalism. Um, but then, don't uh, condone the two kids that I um the two kids that I mainly interact with within that gym setting. They both go to Juku, and I both know from teaching. Juku is kind of like a, it's an extracurricular club activity yes. focusing specifically on English. Sort of um, wild west of English. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, so it's a bit higher than like Ikaiwa. Um, and uh, the two kids that I do that they do speak pretty good English, or is certainly up there with you know, the best that I've seen since I've been here. Uh, but they're, they're, they're learning all these new words and these new dirty words. And um, they, they just said to me, oh, Dean, Dean, have you played the sex? You know, and so it was like, you know, I just had to kind of ignore that. And they're like, and then they were just saying loads of random English words associated with like sex and as a condom. And they were like, girl name, what is her name? Uh, have you... Uh, and then they were like, gesturing, like uh, pointing to my dick and saying, like, Dean, big penis, you know. <laughs> the way they pronounced it was not as in penis, they went penis. Yeah. So it was almost like, you know, what the fuck. Um, so that was really, um, that was really interesting. Obviously, when you come over here, you probably, if you bend over when you're working at the Shogakos, or even even the Chugakos, even maybe the Coco, actually, even high school, you yeah. probably will get canchoed. Um, and that's obviously where they make the gun motion and they try and stick up your ass. But if um, you do, if you do like Dean's doing though, you know, kind of like you don't buy into it. You're not like you don't, it. you don't encourage any kind oh, of conversation not, no. at all. It might seem kind of common sense, but I don't know. And you maybe got some people have as well. I mean, yeah. As when I came home saying it yesterday, because it happened for the last couple of days, I um, I did. Uh, I I spoke to Dave and I was like, you know, do you think you know I'm not going to do anything now? But if it persists, you know, say. Yeah. You know, for another week or so, and they are trying to, you know, because they're quick little fuckers, and they will, they will try and poke. Yes. Uh, you know, and they, if you're if you're female, they will try and, you know, have a have a bit of a boob grab. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, but I was just saying, to Dave, you know, I don't want to make a big issue of it, but I want to keep that 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 professional relationship quite firm. Um, yeah. I'm up for getting a hug, you know, all that sort of stuff. That's fine, um, but not. You know, not 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 touching my junk. That's a yeah, bit, that's, that's, sort of, that's a bit too much. That's off limits. So yeah, no, you just gotta be careful. You know, so yeah, just... it's it's sort of the same thing again, though. It's like what Dean's doing is this kind of if it can just disappear. If it's a one off, you haven't made a big issue of it, no. and then it disappears. The kids are crazy sometimes, whatever. But then to kind of you know discern when is the better time to talk. Just like with his classes, probably not when the first issue happens with the teacher. The best time. If you can kind of like let it sail by and if things are okay, but if you do see a pattern of kids going after your junk or something, you would like Dean saying too. You got to protect your job and show show them that like you nip this in the bud yeah. when when it was appropriate to do so. But they can be they can be feisty little crazy crazy people yeah. in these schools. Just to, to be aware. You reminded me of a story with the cleaning one time where I was doing you know 
you'll see if you've seen the movie Spirited Away and they're cleaning the bathhouse oh, or yeah, anything yeah, and they like rub yeah. the uh, the, the, the like guy towel. With about a million hands. What's his name? He's like almost like a spider. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The, the, like, he's got the coal fire. Yeah, that's it. Kind of like Charles Bronson. Yeah, yeah, and they clean by yeah rubbing the cloth across the floor. In one of my classes, they invited me to clean it, and I'm just a big monster, and I've never done it before. And, and they were like, faster, faster, and. I ran into the wall and broke through a glass plate, <laughs> which was, I felt pretty stupid. Everybody's yeah. all concerned. And it's like just the stereotypical big clumsy foreigner who yeah. like can't control themselves and goes yeah. through a glass window. Uh, kind of embarrassing. Yeah. But anyways, all, all good things. All good things. Sounds like you're doing well. Yeah. You're balancing good. out. All good. Um, what, any, anything upcoming? I know Dean's itching for an egg high or whatever uh, in... No, an Enkai. An Enkai. An Enkai to have a yeah. drinking party. They'll be coming up soon for our summer. Yes. Pretty quick here. Anything else we want to tag on? Yeah, just the, just the Enkai. I want to kind of get that down. Um, I want to see the co-workers outside of that formal, rigid setting yes. that is school. Um, and also kind of really looking forward to um, the summer break that's going to come up. Uh, probably look to go over to England. Yeah. You know, that's all <laughs> about. Nice. I'm getting clear focus. We had comments in the last video that were not entirely focused. We've moved the mic now. Oh, yeah, and also we had comments in the last video about, what was it, uh, jumpsuits or whatever we were? Life preservers. Life preservers, that's it. So I actually have quite a collection myself, so this is number two. So number two, if yeah. you're lucky, buddy, I'll do number three for the next yeah. video. Um, I don't. I don't have anything. I got a. I got a PlayStation Four. That's my other thing for Ramble Rousers. I'm Japanese related, and I got a new channel up too, where I'm going to be doing Let's Plays. So for any nerds checking out this channel too, even nerds, not even anyone, just people people who love games, check out my Let's Play people channel. People that love Dave or Dave generally, voice. me then generally. Yes. Yeah, I love your voice. I'm far more charismatic with video games. Anyways, is that fuck? Yeah. <laughs> when when Dean's not crushing me at FIFA. Um, have we anything else? Are we good? I think, I think, well, I, I haven't got anything else to say. Cool, that, that's <laughs> kind of the update for now. We're just dropping in and then more videos <laughs> to come this week. More videos to come this week. So, yeah, if you want to send us a question, just comment down below yep. or get a hold of me through email. All that stuff's down in the information, like, yep. excuse me, usual. Um, thanks for tripping with Dave and Dean. Until we meet again next time, we're all chopping out. Peace.